week one for cha-cha for the beyond beginners. We'll call it that today. So what we did, we originally just made sure everybody knew your basic step what Rob just went through in lesson one. Then we wanted to talk a little bit about how does the body move in cha-cha. So we got into some exercises originally. So we just had people stand straight. First off, we had you loosen up your body. So standing up straight without your hips moving, we had you move your shoulders around the corner one way as far as you can, then move them the other way as far as you can. Another way to do that exercise is the Arnold Schwarzenegger. So keep your shoulders facing directly front. As you walk around the corner with the lower part of your feet, making sure if I walk around the corner to the left, I have to make sure I keep my right shoulder backwards. The reason I call it the Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and without the shoulders moving, you can walk the other way. Okay, we have to make sure your shoulders don't move as your lower part of your body moves around. Okay, so making, showing that your hips can move without your rib cage. Still, okay, we originally did the beach to the bar. All guys know what that means. The beach to the bar. Well, they might not know what they're doing, so I'm just pushing my rib cage forward and then collapsing it in. Push it forward, collapse it in, forward, in. Then we did an exercise where sideways. And without the hips moving, I'm going to take my rib cage and move it over to the right. So right now this rib is stretched, this one is kind of compressed. I can go to the other way. So now this side is stretched, this side is compressed. So I'm moving side to side, but I have to keep my shoulders parallel to the ground. Okay? So it does feel a little bit weird, especially if your muscles are a little bit tight and you're not used to being able to move your rib cage. Okay? So then we had you take your chest forward, over to the left back to the right. So now I'm making a circle around my body with my ribs without my hips moving. You can make that go in either direction. Okay, so that's just loosening up. This isn't actually part of the dance. This is just loosening up your rib cage from your pelvis. I had people just stand on your left foot, take the hip and make a counterclockwise circle around your left foot. Stand on your right foot, use the hip, the other hip now to make a clockwise circle around. Now when it comes to the basic step of the dance, this is once another exercise. I'm going to take my ribs, set it over to an 11 o'clock position. After my rib is there, now I'm going to let my hip come forward and around the corner. Now I'm going to take my ribs over to a local 1 o'clock position. Then I'll let my hip just kind of come around and relax. So it's step, hip, step, hip. So my rib cage goes over first, then my hip. My rib cage goes over, then the hip. So these are called a figure eight or an infinity sign that I'm making with my body. So my ribs go, then my hip, rib, then my hip, rib, then my hip, rib, then my hip. So that just gives you a motion then like that, which you will eventually be putting into your day so people can practice that. Then we got into how does a lock step work. So in a lock step, we did a half of a basic to the left. One, two, three. We step forward, back foot locks in behind, Forward again for your forehand. One, two, three. Going backwards, back, cross in front, back. Two, three. So step, lock, step. Two, three. Back, lock, back. Two, three is a locking step. Then we went into the actual move that we did. Toes instead of heels, and it's a pushing motion. So as soon as my foot touches the ground, all of my weight should be over top of it, so it's an instant weight change instead of like stepping onto your heel and rolling through, which would be a gradual weight change. So my back foot pushes me onto the ball of my forward foot, so you want about 90% of your weight to be there as soon as you touch the ground. We did a half of the basic. One, two, three, cha, cha, one. Did a regular two, three. Two, three. Did the first two steps of a lock step. Four and. She's going to do a regular one coming forward for her long step. I'm going to take a step sideways to the left for one. I'm going to hook for count two as she goes forward. Okay, bringing the hand through the middle. She is now going to turn an inside turn. As I go sideways, she's going to turn three. I picked up her back. I'm now on this side of her body. So now I can hook again as I'm going to send her past my right side. Four. She turns her hand as I replace my weight onto my left foot. Follow her for one, two, three. So that move looks like one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. That's the move we did for week one. Good job.